Hello Leo, this is Tara from the Tarot Cafe. I changed my name from the Tarot One Show to the Tarot Cafe. Why? I'll tell you. Because the cafe is like we're chatting together, we're face to face with one another, we're talking with each other over a cup of tea. You want some tea? Let's have this conversation. Let me do your reading. Sit down. I'm going to make you a cup of tea. We'll have some tea biscuits. We're, we're going to have a, just a bit relaxing time, allowing spirit, being so relaxed that spirit will work and give the messages that are needed, to give the comfort that is needed. And that's why I changed the name to the Tarot Cafe. Come to the cafe with me. Let's talk over a cup of tea. And we are going to be doing some timeless tea readings. And with these timeless tea readings, it is not restricted by the hustle and bustle of the physical time. It's relaxed. It goes by how it connects with you intuitively, how it resonates with you spiritually the moment you listen to this podcast spirit has a message for you no matter what time day hour week month or year the moment you listen and have a cup of tea with me spirit has a message for you so get your teacups ready because leo spirit has a message for you You've been doing a lot of thinking, haven't you? You've been thinking about what the hell is going on? For some of you, there's a special someone that you've been racking your brains over, trying to figure them out. It may have caused the relationship to break. It may have caused you to break up for a moment. Or to separate. Or to go inside. To find the answers. In your situation. But being apart. Or just giving each other's time. Is not a bad thing. Use that time for peaceful meditation. Just to really embrace yourself. In the solitude that engulfs you allow you to tune in to what spirit is saying take a deep breath (sighs) okay take that deep breath and relax calm down because leo spirit has many messages for you i even see messages here for abundance spirit says that the seeds that you've planted whether the seeds of love prosperity, uh, opportunity, the seeds that you planted in the past, they are coming into fruition. The flowers are blooming. You're reaping the harvest. Mm. You're reaping the harvest. Your investments, you will reap the reward, the things that are dear to your heart. But continue to have patience to see the beauty that's around your abundance. Continue. There's also, Spirit is saying, coming up in the near future, that there are some opportunities that are are coming your way. But you've been so overthinking a situation that's kind of been really over really really kind of knocking all the other thoughts out the way just really overwhelming you mentally but there is a magical opportunity coming in so try to focus more to tune out the distractions the things that have been having you very distracted But get to a place of the hermit to really relax, to see what spirit 
has to say or has to offer because there's an up and coming opportunity coming into your life. Leo, I see that. Wow. Amazing. And it's going to cause you to get on your char chariot or get in your car and to go. There has been this hermit mode that has been causing you to kind of stay still. But with this opportunity and with the seeds that I see that are coming into fruition here, I see that you're going to start moving. Even when it comes to love, there have been some things that you've been still in when it comes to love, but expect the message that's coming through, a message of love, an unexpected compliment or an unexpected relationship with someone that you meet along your path, along your way. I see that happening for you. This will bring you great abundance, great security that I see that's coming in as well. So whether it be a relationship I feel that whatever it is, is going to be very resourceful for you in your life. And it's going to be a, a big opportunity for you. For some of you, I feel new love is in the air, new beginnings, new love coming in for you. And just a romantic love story, I feel. And this person is going to come into your life and he is going to be, or she is going to be your other half. And they are going to have, they're going to have a lot about them. Not only I do see them as being pretty or beautiful or handsome, but I also feel that they are very talented. They are very talented too. Um, they're visionaries. They, I feel it's going to be even a great opportunity for you and a compliment for you and you a compliment for them. It just feels like the perfect match. You sync so well and that's what you're going to feel, Leo, that you sync so well together. You got so much in common with each other. That's what I feel for you. Wow, it's so beautiful. Just continue to make those affirmations. And continue to say these things that your love is going to come into fruition. Your love is going to come. And continue to say it over and over again. Your love is going to come. It's going to bring great abundance. It's going. They're going to love you. It's going to happen. Have faith. Until next time, God bless you.